Well folks, it's been forever, and yes, finally I got the Osmo T8 Pro with the full dust bin full of dirt, and guess what's behind me? Yes, the T8 Pro self-emptying bin. Let's go ahead and see this live in action. I can go ahead and tell in the app to empty out the dust bin, and we'll see how much dirt and debris it can extract. Whoa, I'm a huge rabbit. This thing is like 24 inches, but guess what? I got something else that's really, really big. Hold on one second. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Man, this is a lot of work. Whoa, wow, this is just gigantic. I have so many boxes on my table. I don't know if I need to get a bigger table these days because my table is looking very, very small. Well, we got a very special video coming up today because we got the Proscenic M7 Pro versus the Osmo T8 Pro. Yes, these are both Pro models and they have very special features like the self emptying bin. This guy has the vibrating mopping attachment as well, whereas this guy has the wide mopping pattern. So they have a lot of features and we'll just go toe to toe to see which one's right for you. Before we begin, I want to give a special thanks to Proscenic Official for sending out these units for free in exchange for reviews. There's coupons for this guy. I believe it's like 10% off, so I'll link the website and the coupons down below as well. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this guy for you guys. Oh, this box is huge. It just reminds me of the, like the Roombas, like the i7 Plus and the S9 Plus. Very large boxes, but everything's included in the box, whereas the Proscenic M7 Pro came in two separate boxes. Alright, let's go ahead and give you guys a quick spin around here, and this is the overseas version, so you may notice some Chinese or Japanese writing on the box as well. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy spun around for you guys. Oh my gosh, my arm's gonna probably break off. Hope you guys can give it a quick look there. Get guys underneath the look. You guys see that? Nothing too fancy. And we got the top of the box. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy unboxed for you guys. Lift up the lid here. There we go. Hope you guys can see this. You know what? Let's get you guys down on the floor and I'll turn some lights on so you can see what's inside the box. Hey guys, I can see you guys up there. How's it going? Okay, so I figured this would be a better angle shot because you guys can see exactly what I'm unboxing. Alright, so I like the presentation. Reminds me of the Roombas as well. So we got the accessory box. We have the robot itself, the T8. We have some additional inserts and we got the self emptying bin. I look at this guys, I got another cool hat. So in the winter time, I can actually uh, be warm. Look at my earmuffs. Yeah, okay. Let's get that out of there. All right, let's pull this thing out of here. Let's get these guys out before I get the self emptying bin. Pull out the robot. Let's take a look there. Nothing too fancy. All right, let's get this tab opened up. There we go. We got the T8. And it has the fancy my favorite sound in the world. And we also have some inserts to help prevent the bumper from moving around during shipment. Okay, here's the AIBI technology, that front-facing camera that allows it to avoid poo and other obstacles, as well as be a security camera as well. Overseas bottles is no different from the US model I have. Here's underneath the robot. If you watched my previous videos, I did demonstrate how you remove these two plastic covers for the self-emptying bin option. And this is the regular mopping tank. It also has the two mopping accessories, which I'll show shortly. Let's get this guy opened up. I'll show you the self-emptying bin. Okay, so here's the quick start guide. Very nice. Alright, so let's have a quick look at the bins here. Uh, this is the non self emptying bin, and this is the self emptying bin. They're actually the exact same size, but one unique feature these squares off to the right there. Yes, that's the self emptying bin feature, whereas this doesn't have any pore holes. So, this is the non self emptying bin, but they're interchangeable. And also, the filters are interchangeable as well. Okay, so it looks like everything else is the same, and let's keep on going. 
That's everything in that box. Let me go to the accessories. Whoa, this is really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, start from the top here. This is the accessory that I've been waiting for. The vibrating mopping system. You notice that power port that I showed in my previous videos? Yes, this thing vibrates at, I think, like 240 RPMs per minute. So it should do a lot better than the standard mopping system. Okay, so the only difference between the T8 Pro and the T8 is the T8 Pro does have the vibrating mopping system in the box, whereas the T8 doesn't. But everything else in the robot is the same. We got a washable mopping pad system, disposable mopping pads, about 20 disposable mopping pads. And if you go to Ecofax website, you can get more disposable mopping pads if you like. I do like the fact that they give you the option disposable and washable. Alright, so here's the disposable bag for the self-emptying bin. It looks like the same size as the Roombas and also the Proscenic M7 Pro's disposable bags. We got a US power plug, so thank you very much. Extra filter. Instructions. Here's the instructions. Make sure you guys read that because it's very important. And you can learn a new language as well. Some additional side brushes. So, I like that the side brushes are color coded and they just snap on and you're good to go. Okay, moment of truth, we got the self emptying bin. Let's check it out. We got a lot of packaging. I like that it's well packaged. Check it out guys, here's the self-emptying bin for the Osmo T8. Here's underneath. Alright, let's check out the top. Just push down here, and it opens up. There's that disposable bag. And it just slides out like the other ones. Can you guys see in there? Yep, looks very similar to the other self-emptying bins. There's a fan unit down below and it creates a vacuum. And do you guys see that? It has a dual extraction port and you can wrap the cable around. Very, very nice. Okay, so one side note is you do need to get a step up transformer if you do happen to buy the overseas version with the self-emptying bin. I did look at the power rating. It does not support the 100 volts here in the USA. So what this guy does is actually takes the 100 10 volts or whatever here in the USA, steps up to 220 that's required to run this uh, self emptying bin. And this guy is actually quite powerful, it's very heavy duty, so um, I highly recommend getting this one. I'll put the links down in the description below. So, all said and done, this whole setup costs about 50 bucks to make sure that this guy runs properly here in the USA. Now, keep an eye out for when the US version of the EcoBass T8 Pro comes out. I will let you guys know as well. Alright, so both robots are very similar. Uh, they both have light on navigation, and if you press down on the knobby thing, they're clickable. So that means that they can detect low hanging furniture, so they don't hit the dummy thing. Also, on a Proscenic M7 Pro, you actually have, you have two separate buttons, the home button and the power button. I like that feature, it makes the functions really easy. The T8 has a single power button. Hold down that power button for 3 seconds and it returns to home. Okay, so here's underneath the robots. You can see that they're very similar. They both have two drive wheels. They have a front wheel caster. So, they're very similar in design. Uh, the M7 Pro has a very unique feature where it charges from the front and it rotates 180 degrees to extract the dustbin from the rear. Very unique feature. Why do they do that? Well, it makes removing the dustbin easier if it charges from the front. So, the self-emptying bin doesn't block the dustbin. And they both have a combo style extractor bar. Look at the extractor bars. It looks like the Proscenic M7 Pro might have a slightly larger extractor bar than on the T8. Alright, so the extractor port is a single port down below here. Whereas on the T8, 
It actually has a dual extractor port towards the middle of the robot. But on the T8 it does have that AIBI technology, so it can detect objects in real time, also can act as a security camera as well. One thing to notice, this guy does not have a daycare wall sensor. So the M7 Pro doesn't have the camera, but it does have a daycare wall sensor, which does really well go along the edges to get that dirt and debris. Lastly, the M7 Pro does have a handheld remote. This is one of the first model based robots that does include a extra remote, so you can control the robot without needing a smartphone. Here's a look at the two dustbins. You can see that the M7 Pro is a little bit smaller, it's more stout, whereas this guy's taller, but it does have that dual extractor port, and this is a single extractor port. Some empty bins do have the lids that open up, and they both have disposable bags. And they look like they're the exact same. Give you guys a quick look inside the dustbin. See inside there. Now both dustbins have a very similar base. Uh, there's nothing too fancy about it. So on the T8, you can wrap the cable around. Let's go ahead and check out the self-emptying bin in action for the Osmo T8. One thing I did notice is it's quieter than the other models I've tested, like the Shark IQ, the Roomba S9 Plus, the i7 Plus, and also the M7 Pro self-emptying bin. Despite it being quieter, it does run a little bit longer, I believe about 20 seconds before it stops emptying. I'm starting to charge. Dust emptying initiated. Please wait. Now both self-emptying systems use disposable bags which hold about 30 dustbins full. I do recommend replacing them once they're full. They usually get about a month to three months depending on usage. Both companies do have disposable bags which you can buy through their websites. They're about $12 for a pack of three. So, here's the unique feature on the M7 Pro. Since it rotates 180 degrees to charge from the front, it does make emptying the bin by hand easier. You just pull out the dustbin from the rear and you can go ahead and empty out the dustbin if you choose so. Now, another nice feature is on the app of the M7 Pro, you can tell it to go ahead and return back to its docking station to empty itself. This is something that the T8 doesn't have. Okay, I went ahead and used both self-emptying bins for a couple days to see how much dirt and debris they were able to collect from the dust bins. Now on the M7 Pro, you can see that it does collect a lot of dirt and debris, and some users claim that the dustbin doesn't get emptied very well. Well, that is true. I did see that there was a lot of dirt and debris still left in the dustbin of the robot, but the theory behind this is after the robot goes back to its charge, it will take out some of the dirt and debris, just enough so you don't have to empty it each time. Now, if you have a household that has lots of dirt and debris, the T8 Pro self-emptying bin did really well. It was able to extract all the debris in one go-around, so that's just one thing to consider. Now, sadly, both robots don't have a dirt full bin sensor, so if the bin's full, the robot won't return to its charger. Okay, let's talk about the specs of the T8. The T8 has a very high airflow, around 24 CFM. Also has a very long battery life, around 200 minutes. This is very similar to its younger brother or its sibling, the 950. Now, both robots have a dual side brush design, which does really well getting dirt and debris from either side of the robot. Personally, if I had to design a robot, I think most robots should have the dual side brush design. Alright, let's keep on going. So, like the M7 Pro, they both have LiDAR navigation, and they have the usual LiDAR smart mapping capabilities. So you can do keep out zones, you can do area select, you also have a no mopping zone, 
With the T8, you actually have a dedicated no mopping sensor, which won't go on carpet if it detects that there's a mopping pad attached. And that's a nice feature if you have a mixture of hardware floor and carpet, so you don't have to worry about the T8 going onto your carpet and mopping them. Now with the M7 Pro, you do have a dedicated mode where you can tell the robot not to go on carpet once it's mopping. So the T8 is one of the top end models for Ecovacs, has the long 200 minute battery life, also has 24 CFM of airflow, which is quite high for this type of robot vacuum. Also the AI VI technology is something new to the industry, which allows the robot to avoid obstacles in front of it, like poo, also can avoid shoes, shoe strings, pedestals, and power cords, so that's a nice plus. But keep in mind that the T8 is quite expensive, around $800. So it seems like the T8 has everything going for it. It has the smart mapping capabilities, has the security features, also has the vibrating mopping attachment, also the self-emptying bin, has lighter navigation. I don't think there's anything I can't name that the T8 does not have. Alright, let's go and see how well this well, vacuum picked up the dirt and debris. So if I did have to knock the T8, I would say that the dustbin is a little bit smaller than a lot of the competitors. Most competitors start around 600 milliliters. This guy's about 480 milliliters. So that's just one thing to consider. But it looks like the T8 did fairly well picking up this type of dirt and debris. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the M7 Pro. So if you have a tight area, don't worry. I put the charging base in front of a bunch of furniture and the robots have no problem finding their charges and being able to redock themselves. At half the price point, the M7 Pro is $400, does have that LiDAR navigation, also has all the smart mapping features that's found on a T8. According to Pacenic, the M7 Pro has 2700 Pascals. This is actually quite good given the price point. Most well, vacuums that cost twice as much only have about 2000 Pascals. With the included handheld remote, you can actually run this vacuum without ever needing to pair up with a smartphone. This is something that most LiDAR roll up vacuums would require as a smartphone integration, but with the Prescenic M7 Pro, that's not required. Okay, so the Prescenic M7 Pro has a very unique cleaning algorithm, and you can see it does both the crisscross pattern. That's something that most roll up vacuums can't do. What is up, guys? How's it going? So, we got something very exciting. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and mud up my floor. I got my daughter's shoe and you know how kids are. They like to run around in the house with the shoes on. Well, we'll see how well the M7 Pro versus the T8 Pro's mopping system works. Now, with the M7 Pro, it actually has a wide mopping pattern with the gravity fed system. Water tank is not installed. Comes with about five or so disposable mopping pads. Now, with the T8 Pro, it has a vibrating mopping system. And also, you can go with the standard non vibrating mopping system. Alright, let me show you how easy it is to get these guys going. All you have to do is just get your mopping system, just open up the little water flap. Make sure you just put in warm water, don't put any chemicals in, it could damage the pump, and it can also damage the gravity fed system too on the M7 Pro. That's it. You have the reservoir filled up with warm water and the desired mopping pad. All you do is just slide in the back of your robot. Osmo Pro Reservoir installed. Please move me to a non-carpeted area before starting. We are good to go. Let's start with the T8 Pro's vibrating mopping system. It has both a quick scrubbing and deep scrubbing option. For this demonstration, I selected deep scrubbing and we'll see how well it can pick up this dried up dirt. Keep in mind that both units are designed for light mopping duties. The M7 Pro takes a different approach, uses a gravity fed system found on like the Roblox S6. The benefit of a gravity fed system is it's simpler to maintain and operate since there's no moving or mechanical parts like a pump. So if it does happen to go out, all you have to do is replace the capillary filters. You don't actually have to replace the expensive pump. So this mopping system on the M7 Pro has a fairly small water reservoir, around 110 milliliters. So it's only designed for smaller areas, but with the wide mopping pattern, it did just as well as the vibrating mopping pattern on the T8 Pro. Both robots use a similar pattern where they start out with a perimeter sweep, then they fill in that perimeter sweep with a back and forth cleaning pattern. Wow, are we already at 20 minutes? Whew. 
you want something that's a little bit cheaper, the M7 Pro is not a bad option. It has that lot of navigation and the wide mopping pattern did really, really well. This disposable mopping patch is saturated with dirt. One thing to note is you also have the handheld remote, which is very handy if you want to do a spot clean or drive the low bar around without using a smartphone. Now for the DBot T8 Pro, um, you do have the vibrating mopping system included in the box. You also have the option of doing disposable mopping pads or washable mopping pads and the mopping system did really well. You also have the ability to do a standard non-vibrating mopping option. So the T8 does offer a lot of different possibilities, but keep in mind that this robot is twice the price as this guy. So it all depends on how much you want to spend. Alright, so consider subscribing because I got a lot of new robot vacuums coming to Robot Masters, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you later.